Hey guys, and hello, hi, and welcome back. Uh, we are doing another art uh, review this time of The Astronomer by uh, Johannes, uh, Ver oh, Johannes Vermeer. Yeah. Um, uh, as you may know from the last video, Graham is a real technical expert on the um, technical, you know, techniques used uh, technically in painting. So, especially painting, I think. Uh, less, it, correct me if I'm wrong, Gray, but um, less in in like wax and chalks and stuff. Is it more like? Yeah. Yeah. What um, what kind of painting do you most enjoy? I enjoy myself. I quite like oil painting, but I oil, yeah. I like acrylic. Acr yeah, oil and acrylic are my favorites. Then I, I as well. sometimes I Very quite thick. like the subtleness of watercolor, but it's. It's mm, mm, it's mm, not as mm, strong. Mm, mm. But yeah, so uh, you're the technical one here. Tell me what's going on he's, in this painting in terms of techniques. Where there's like a a cover blanket thing. Mm -hmm. He uses a lot of light and shade. This is at the so, bottom around the bottom left of the painting. Can, in the bottom and left also corner, on his robe. So you know, yeah. Um, you can see where the light's coming from. You can see the light shining. Mm. And yeah. it's the and it's also it's quite effective that it's. Seems to be to shining towards the globe, yeah. and it's called the astronomer. He's looking at a globe, so it's like the sun, the astronomy. There's lots of takes you can make on that. Yeah, um, I would say, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, him, but this seems to be more like a uh, technical kind of lay, uh, drawing rather than a more, you know, gestural yeah, lay, yeah. Uh, painting, sorry, uh, more than a gestural kind of with big strokes. But there are some places. For example, at the bottom of the sleeve of his right arm, you just get these little streaks of light color, uh, hinting at gestural uh, techniques. But, but um, I think overall it does seem to be more like a, um, you know, more it's like a photograph. Okay, uh, moving on. Let's see if we can find some metaphorical connotations of this. Because that's obviously the area. This is yeah. I'm, I am a metaphorical yeah. analogizer, <clears throat> as you will all hopefully know if you've watched our previous video. Um, we're have. gonna we're gonna try and cut this one down in length a bit, because um, the last one <coughs> was nine <coughs> minutes. So we're gonna try and maybe keep this under nine. But um, <coughs> all right. So I'm just picking things out right now. But uh, he's got fluffy hair. I've got a. I do have to. <laughs> it, yeah, it I've looks like it's got a bit out. of a, a side ponytail yeah, going I on do down like, there. You know, uh, I think this kind of reflects the fascination that he's have, having on his, the globe, which seems to be covered in kind of, I, I see, is that Medusa on that globe? Sorry, my voice has got a little louder. It's because I'm leaning in towards the monitor to mm. see... I think I may see an angel on the left, but you yeah. know. Um, but the fascination of man towards the unknown is definitely shown in this painting. Like you know, obviously this is the twenty first century, twenty sixteen, um, and we still don't know really a lot of what's out there, do we? Um, for example, in space, but not just space. You know, even in like the human brain. We're still uncovering secrets that we've never found before, and that's really reflected strongly. It's like also the fact that the light is shining through this window. The window could also not is not in a metaphorical barrier. I would say more of kind of it could be almost religious because it could be like the the light is coming from above, signifying some sort of um, you know upper uh, holy being. But I see it more as kind of he's he seems to be looking at the globe uh his astronomer's globe and out of the window to see what's out but there and there's a metaphor for you know moving on i think also, um, looking I, outwards I, 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 this isn't my area of expertise at, at all no. I, <laughs> excuse me pardon me um I, uh, but i, think I, had I mean a correct cough. me if i'm not wrong but you probably will not be wrong <laughs> but also it could be that he's fascinated, but also the the gesture of the hand, it looks quite controlling over the globe. Are you saying this astronomer is God? 
No. Okay. <laughs> I'm good. saying the relationship between man and earth, almost how sometimes man can be seen as controlling. It was created 1668. So at this point, I think, at this point, I don't think that metaphor would be entirely <coughs> valid, considering that this was 1668. You know, there was no modern science. The controlling hand, I see it more of as a searching hand. You know what I mean? But all interpretations are valid. This is why I love metaphorical ana uh, analogi analogization. <laughs> Sorry. Analogizations, Damn. I think. Yes. Right. Well, guys, this was a fairly short review, but I think um, it was. We, we just had a little bit of spare time. It, if you're watching this. Yes. So, thank you very much for um for listening. Bye. Uh, uh bye. Yeah. Goodbye. See you. <coughs>